What's up, everybody? This is your boy Technology G back with another video. And in this video, you will learn about various methods of application architecture and delivery models. Let's talk about application delivery models. So application delivery refers to the pool of services that combine to provide application functionality, usually web-based software applications from the data centers or cloud environments, where the required data processing and computing is executed to the application clients or end users over the internet. Applications can be delivered in a variety of ways and may require different levels of access to the internet or other resources before they can be used. Locally installed. A local, ins a local install is a software installation that is performed on your local computer. It is by far the most common way to install software. The installation files might come from a local storage device such as a CD or DVD optical disc or a downloadable file. But after the installation is complete, the application is ready to run. The characteristics of a local installed app include the following. Network is not required. So after the initial install, the application does not need network access. Many apps prefer network access to validate a product key or a license key. The next characteristic is applications exist locally. The application files are stored on a drive that is connected to the computer. Typically, applications are stored on the system drive, the hardware drive or the solid state drive that is built into the computer. In Windows, this is referred to as the C drive. And finally, files are stored locally. The application is designed to save files to local storage. Most locally installed applications can also save files to network storage as an option. Typically, locally installed apps include office suites, photo editing, and video editing apps, along with games. Local network hosted. A local network hosted application is one that is installed on a local area network. It includes the following. Network access is required. So if a network connection is not available, the application cannot run. Also, internet access is not required. Although the application needs a network connection, it does not need internet access. Windows applications that are installed on a server and accessed by clients running remote desktop services are examples of local network hosted applications. Cloud hosted. A cloud hosted application is a software as a service that enables users to open and use software application that is hosted in the cloud on a subscription basis. Cloud hosted applications are hosted on a cloud infrastructure that users can access through the internet from anywhere in the world. Some key features of a cloud hosted application are as follows. Internet access is required because the app is on the internet. Your device must have access uh, to the internet to run. Services required. You must have a subscription to the cloud hosted service to use it. The service might be free or it may cost money, but without a subscription to the service, it is not available to you. The files are saved in the cloud. Cloud hosted services save files to the cloud. With many apps, you can also download your files, but the default location for the files is in the cloud. An example of a cloud hosted application uh, includes things like Google Docs and Microsoft Office web apps such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. There are two other types of hosted services. The first one is platform as a service. That is a category of cloud computing that provides a platform allowing customers to develop, run, and manage applications without the complexity of building and maintaining the infrastructure typically associated with developing the launching of an app. And infrastructure as a service, that is a service model that delivers computer infrastructure on an outsourced basis to support enterprise operations. Typically, enterprise as a service provides hardware, uh, storage, servers, and data center space or network components. It may also include software. Uh, application architecture models. An application architecture describes the behaviors of applications used in business. 
focused on how they interact with each other and with users. It is focused on the data consumed and produced by applications rather than the internal structure. The essential parts of an application are as follows. You have the presentation layer. That is the application users, the application's user interface is where you look at the menu and you kind of get a feel for the aesthetics of the, the website or whatever it is that you're looking at. Then you have local or, or logic or programming. That is the portion of the application that takes input from the presentation layer and uses it to create or manage data. And then you have data. That is information created or used by the application. Depending on the application, additional parts or layers may also be introduced between the programming and data layers. The terms one tier, two tier, three tier, and N tier for applications refer to how the different layers are organized and stored on a computer or network. Let's talk about one tier. One tier architecture involves putting all of the required components for a software application or technology on a single server or platform. One tier architecture has presentation, logic, and data layers all stored in the same location. A locally installed application is an example of a one tier application. Two tier. A two tier architecture is a software architecture in which a presentation layer or interface runs on a client and a data layer or data structure gets stored on a server. Separating these two components into different locations represents a two tier architecture. Three tier. A three tier architecture is a client server architecture in which the functional process logic Data access, computer data storage, and user interface are developed and maintained as independent modules on separate platforms. Three-tier architecture is a software design pattern and a well-established architect uh, software architecture. Three-tier architecture uses three layers that are typically hosted on different devices, such as a computer and two servers. For example, a cloud-hosted app uses the following tier layers. It'll have the presentation tier is run on a computer, tablet, or smartphone. This can also be referred to as the client layer. The programming or logic tier is run on an application server in the cloud. And the data tier is stored on a file server in the cloud. So that is three-tier architecture. Also, cloud-hosted apps such as Google Apps, they use three-tier architectures as well. Tier one is Google Docs web page as presented on a computer or mobile device. Tier two is the Google Docs application running a Google Docs application, or excuse me, running on a Google Docs application server. And tier three is Google Drive cloud storage for Google Docs files. And then finally, we have in tier. So interior architecture is a client server architecture concept in software engineering where the presentation processing and data management functions are both logically and physically separated. These functions are each running on separate machine or separate clusters so that each is able to provide the services at top capacity since there is no resource sharing. This separation makes Managing each easier since doing work on one does not affect the other. It also makes it easier for isolating any potential problems that may occur. And an in tier architecture uses more than three layers and is frequently used for database applications. For example, an in tier architecture used for a database app might have the following layers. It will have tier one. That will be the presentation layer running on a computer or mobile device. Tier two, the logic or programming layer running on a server. Tier three, the data access layer running on another server. And tier four, the database layer running on a database server. Interior application architecture also works well in environments where the use of virtualized or physical servers can improve performance. All right. So that is our class. Let's go ahead and get into some check on learning. So the first question is your client wants to move the database application from a local drive to a network drive. This is an example of what type of application would it be in tier? 
Would it be cloud hosted? Would it be wireless or would it be local network based? So they want to go from a database from a local drive to a network drive. The correct answer would be local network based. So they want to take the information off of their local computer and move it to a server or some other uh, system that is uh, hosted on the network to where that inform to where that local machine can reach out to that server or that machine and pull the information from that machine over the network. Question number two: You are using an app. When the network goes down, you cannot access the files you have on a network, but you can still open files on a thumb drive. Which of the following best describes your app? Would this be one tier architecture? Would it be local network hosted? Would it be cloud hosted? Or would it be in tier architecture? So the network goes down. You cannot access any files on the network, meaning you can't access files from the from the from the network server, but you can open files that are on a thumb drive if you stick the thumb drive into your computer. The correct answer would be. This is a one tier architecture, one tier architecture, meaning that your one tier architecture means that all of your applications, your um, your presentation, your data and your logic are pretty much all essentially stored on one machine or one server or one device or something like that. All right. Uh, final question. Google Docs is an example of what type of application? Google Docs, would this be remote desktop services, one tier, cloud hosted, or local network hosted, Google Docs? Correct answer would be cloud hosted. Remember Google Docs, every time you create a file on Google Docs, that file is automatically saved by default in the cloud on the Google Drive server out there in Google land somewhere, all right? All right, so that is the check on learning. So here's a summary of everything we just discussed. We talked about application architecture and delivery models where we talked about locally installed network, uh, local network hosted, cloud hosted, and one, two, three, and in tier architecture models. For more information on this, please visit my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass your comp to your IT fundamentals certification exam. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.